Hi Anna, I'm Jordan, 31, I'm a power plant team leader in Bedfordshire. Um, again, I'd like to extend my thanks like everyone else. I can appreciate being a reporter in the current climate. Reporting on what you are reporting on is a bit of a risky business. So I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, this lockdown, this whole situation, this pandemic... I tell you, it's um, yeah, it's just an incredible turn and series of events, really. So my experience um, in the beginning, I had a, a relatively high level of uh, sort of paranoia or fear, worry, really, for people. Uh, my nan wasn't ill at the time, and I was uh, thinking that the respiratory disease, like what they were describing could certainly finish her off she is dead now but not of covid um unfortunately that was a funny turn actually of events there but um yeah i was worried about her i was worried about older people that i work with i was worried about you know the demographics that they put forward that were at risk um you know i sort of picked up the news story ahead of a lot of people in in the public i would consider and yeah i was a bit cautious but when the lockdown came and after it had been set in for a couple of weeks, those first couple of weeks were just bizarre, weird, no traffic on the roads, ghost town, everyone just buying, panic buying for no good reason, really. Um, I started to question it, like a lot of people. Um, they, you know, what they were essentially shutting the world down for, I was. I would have been expecting in the uh, at the early points, like yeah, a couple of weeks, and we are literally going to start seeing people. You know, just so many sick people about. Uh, you know, no, no food on the shelves, no transport network, no, you know, pa power cuts. Uh, maybe water going off for periods. You know, where people are so sick they can't maintain the country. They'll keep it going. Um. And obviously, everyone was just getting on with their lives. There are people on furlough. People are out running. You know, like from early on, you could see that, I mean, the good weather helped that uh, people were, they were trying to sort of get out and do what they could to improve their health. And it was working. I was seeing quite the opposite, you know, people probably fitter than they've been in a long time. And, you know, there weren't bodies piled up outside hospitals or cemeteries or whatever. And it wasn't as bad as what you would think or need to shut down not just this country but the entire world really and as time wore on i think more and more people started to question things and if there's one thing we've been guilty as of as the masses it's not questioning things not applying critical thinking we just we're like this on our phones all the time aren't we you know so distracted by pointless news pointless media really we're all guilty of it me included um but this is changing people it really is i mean just look at the amount of videos on your channel just normal people some of them worried i mean i couldn't imagine what it'd be like to be a single person certainly in the beginning at home like living on your own just completely cut off from so many people but really when you think about it for 99% of people, no one's been forced and barricaded into their homes. We've all obliged to doing it. We have put ourselves in, in prison, really. Yeah, And this is the level of influence and power that the media and, and I don't know if it's the government, the media has de definitely done a good hand at driving the fear, but, you know, it's what the government's put forward, essentially. But that they've just wound up just a storm and everyone's just retreated inside and uh i think a lot of people are just starting to question it and saying hang on a minute this isn't right you know and people are starting to really question the media the news <laughs> all the false reporting and and the government the figures you know they've reassessed the figures now and it's just they've moved the goalposts constantly, you know, 
with the rules with what you can and can't do what is dangerous what's not what helps what doesn't you know just different accounts all the time like there's so many if you're watching this video just go to youtube or go on google or whatever search engine and just type in um you know the death figures for the countries uh, look at them compare them to the statistics of of all the other types of death in previous years and you know look at what they have you know with the mask thing you know we're in a less dangerous point now bringing in masks which are virtually you know offer no protection and it's just they like i said they just move the goalposts all the time and if it was that deadly there'd be no need masks would be something you'd be using from day one and everything else and nothing would be open still until it was dealt with or to some degree you know and and the other thing the most important thing now people are just questioning this vaccine they really are and so they should be and so they should be you know for so many reasons i mean just everything you've got to look at everything the fact they're censoring information why if it's lies it'll be found out it will come apart the story will come apart and really i think everyone deep down i think everyone deep down knows what this is all about i think everyone's questioning it i think most people are answering asking the right questions and we just need to say no more it's ridiculous we they are taking the mickey out of us they really are they they're just trying to flex every muscle they've got but people need to realize that we put these pe people in these positions of power and they abuse it. We pay them. And this military, this police force, they serve us. And I don't mean that in like a negative way. These people are here to do good, essentially. They're, they're here to serve their country. They're here to serve the communities. And they have turned us against each other. It's crazy the level of influence the media has. What they're doing, they're making us hate the thing that's going to protect us against the government, against these madmen. So keep asking the right questions, people. Just keep pushing for change. And if you don't agree with it, make your own mind up. Don't comply with what you don't want to. A lot of the laws, they're based on, you know, a lot of these acts and stuff. Your compliance, essentially. Like, if. You know, things being brought in without our say so. We need to account for ourselves. We need to stand up and we need to make this change because it's evident to me that something sinister is going on and it is up to us to stop it. There are some good people high up fighting a good fight, you can see. But we need to we need to apply pressure. So I just wish everyone the best and I just hope that we make this change because if we can change it for the better, which it will be, because I'm not... I don't want any part of what they are proposing. But if we change things, the effects of this will be so great. It will be a beautiful world. So we just got to maintain positivity and keep pushing for what we know is right. And it's as simple as that. It really is. So take care.